me, Blippi, and look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather <laughs> or a rock? Yeah, I bet, yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah, do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa, yeah, that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple. And this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit. And I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah. The feathers were so big. And then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa, light. <laughs> wow. See, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah, you're right. Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect, put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right. Now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, you can stand right there. Oh, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. <laughs> Okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys. Yeah, this T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So, 
Let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense? Because they're actually gonna be roughly the, the no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect, all right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay, all right, one quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and what? Perfect. Okay, oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. Now, we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa. I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay. Stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount a volume, one quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense, which one is heavier. Ready? Yeah, the blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa! Woo, woo, woo. Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah! Construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa! Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah. That is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Whoa. Found on mines, farms, and factories. Most anything Bulldozers stirring up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer Some rough terrain. They can move all kinds of things. Bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. Bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Move over, it's about to roll. 
Bulldozer Bulldozer machine. Roll, roll on, bulldozer. Better move over, here comes the bulldozer. It's a yellow machine. Put in the box. Here we go. Go to the other side. Dump them out. There we go. Two more blocks on this side. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow. That was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also bulldozers. Wow. Those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And I was just making some sweet tunes with this bowl. <laughs> and you like that? <laughs> That's funny. But hey, today we're not going to learn about tunes. We're going to learn about, yeah, how to make clay. Yeah, look at it. Look at how many cool colors I have. Whoa, look. <laughs> so much fun to play with. Whoa, and you can roll it up and make things with it. Look, I just made a baseball. <laughs> wow, all right, let's look at all the colors. We have orange, white, blue, purple, green, red, black, and light blue. Whoa, and today, yeah, you and I are gonna make some of this. Yeah, and this recipe you can make at home with a grown-up. Yeah, and then after you make it, you can squish it nice and flat, and then you take some of these and and then you can cut it out. Whoa, and maybe we can spell some words together. Maybe we can make an airplane together. Whoa, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is have all the ingredients for this clay. Yeah, here we go. And I have my recipe right here. <laughs> First, we need a bowl. And what I would do if I was you, I would probably have a grown-up help you because this can get really messy and there's a lot of ingredients. Yeah, all right. So first, we need to start with one cup of flour. Whoa, okay. Let's open this up. There we go. And it doesn't need to be exact. Yeah, that is one cup of flour. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That is a great base for the clay we're making. Okay, all right. Let's see, one quarter cup of salt. All right, it is definitely already getting really messy. Okay, one quarter cup. And then we need to grab some salt. Here we go. Perfect, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, perfect. All right. Okay, let me zip this back up. Yeah, and then we need one teaspoon of cream of tartar. <laughs> what a silly name! <laughs> That's so fun! Cream of tartar! <laughs> one teaspoon. Oh, there's so many. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Here we go. And we're gonna mix all this up in a little bit, but for now, Let's pour all the ingredients in here. Then we have a half a tablespoon of oil. Okay, whoa. This is where it might get a little messy. Okay.
Perfect. All right, put the lid back on just so it does not spill. That would be bad news, Barry. <laughs> okay, and then we have a half cup of H2O. Do you know what H2O stands for? Yeah. Water. <laughs> I love water. All right, half of a cup. Perfect. All right. Oh, hey, look. I forgot to close up the flower. You should probably do that. All right, let's push all that stuff to the side because now we're ready to mix it up. But what we need to do is put in some color. And you can make any color you want. But what we're gonna do, although we already have a green color, I think we should make another green. But this one will be a little bit lighter. So let's open this up, add some green. I don't know how much to add, but that seems like quite a bit. And then also I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, it's gonna make it more of a, a bright green. Let's close that up. Whoa, that was a fun recipe to make. But now, <laughs> I gotta mix it up. Whoa, it's looking so good. <laughs> wow. You see it? Whoa. All right, let me keep mixing it up. Whoa, yeah! We did it! Wow, check it out. Wow, whoa, homemade clay. Wow, what a pretty green color we made. Good job. I wonder what color you're gonna make at home for your first color. So now what you can do with this, it's so much fun. You can actually smash it flat. Watch this trick. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> that's silly. Okay, let's peel it off. Wow, perfect. And then, now you can use these. Yeah, they're like cookie cutters. But these are definitely not cookies that we're making. I would not eat this, okay? All right, okay. Uh, yeah, remember that airplane? Check it out. Okay, now you push it down. Whoa, look, <laughs> cut an airplane out. But first, let's push it out of here. Wow, yeah, we did such a good job. Wow, okay, I'll put that airplane right there. Now, let's bring all the colors that we have out. And then, let's see what we can make together. Okay, so let's put that green back. And we have the airplane right there. What else? Oh, we have some letters. We have, ooh, a dog. Woof, woof. Will you act like a dog with me? Ready? Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> wow, <laughs> dogs are so cute. Okay, let's make a blue dog. That sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? Okay, you know what to do. Smash out your clay nice and flat. Oh, <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, push it down. All right, whoa, look at that. Whoa, pull the sides away. Wow, and now, oh, <laughs> that's silly. Look, what is that? Yeah, it's a little poochie. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, we'll save you. We'll put you right there. Perfect. All right. One pooch and one airplane. Huh? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, hey, I think we have some letters over here. We can spell something out. Okay, looks like we have a B, a P, an I, an L. Huh, a B, a P, an I, and an L. What word can you think that uses those letters? A B, a P, an I, and an L. Hmm. I know! Yeah, my name! <laughs> Blippi! Yeah, we can actually spell my whole name out just with these four letters. See, we would go like this. We would use a B, an L, an I. We would do two P's, and then we would use another I. Perfect! All right, let's do that. All right, first we need some colors. So, let's use this blue color. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a B right there. Perfect. Whoa, this is gonna be so cool. Yeah, and if you use some of this at home, maybe you could spell your name. Okay, let's use some purple. All right. So we got a blue B right here. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and then we have an L. All right, nice little L right there. Yeah. So a B, L, and then we need an I. How does that look? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, B, L, I, yeah, B, L, I, what's the next letter? Yeah, P, and there's two of them. Let's use one of my favorite two colors. Yeah, the color orange. B, L, I, P, we need another P. We'll use the color black. <laughs> this is so much fun. It feels so cool on my hands. Ooh, another P. Yeah. So we got, here we go. We got B, L, I, P, P. What's the next letter? B, L, I, P, P. Yeah. And let's use this bright red color. All right, here we go. B L I P P I. Here we go. Oh, how does that look? B L I P P I. Yeah, good job. All right. Okay, let's put these down here with the dog and the airplane. There we go. All right, now let's make one more thing. Huh, hey, well, since we had all these stencils and these cookie cutters, yeah, you could actually use a lot of them. You can make a star, you can make a heart, you could make, ooh, a butterfly, yeah. Or you could use some other tools. Yeah, like this spoon or this fork. And see, look at this. See, you can use the fork and yeah, act like you're in the garden. Do, 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 do. Yep, gotta make the soil nice and soft. So then you can plant some plants. Wow. <laughs> but I am definitely making a mess with all these small pieces. So look at this. This is a cool trick that I learned. See? You can actually pick up a lot of the pieces by smashing it. Yeah, it's kind of fun, huh? <laughs> okay, but watch this. Hey, we haven't used this color green yet. So, if you take the spoon and you scoop it, although it's a half of a circle, we go all the way around, 
you actually might be able to scoop a full circle. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Yeah! Look! There we go! Whoa! Look! Oh, it's like a circle! Wow! <laughs> and then you can put it in your hands, roll it around. Yeah! Look! It's like a basketball! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was silly. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun making this clay with you. Did you have fun making clay with me? Yeah! And it was really fun, yeah, using those cookie cutters to cut out some of the clay into an airplane. Yeah. A doggy. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> and my name. Blippi! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I Blippi! Alright, thank you so much for being my friend. See you soon. Bye bye It's me, Blippi, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa! So many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're going to let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one. The slow pokes, <laughs> we have this sweet colorful beach ball and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah. The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right. Let's put them on their side, and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow. The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down. The speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe their sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how 
much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. Hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video.
Wow, that was so much fun learning about velocity with you. And it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great Blippi Velocity Race. <laughs> but there's only one champion, and today, that was water. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>
you see all that lemon juice down there? Okay, let's do another. There we go. Whoa, this thing is just pressing out all of the juice. <gasps> it looks so yummy. <laughs> I bet it'd be really sour though. <laughs> all right, I think that is plenty of lemon juice for our lemonade. All right, so we need to now pour this in our giant pitcher. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, it has a little bit of pulp, but that's okay. Okay, so the lemons were free. So this cost us zero dollars to make. <laughs> we're right on track. Okay, the next thing, let's add our water. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's a perfect amount. Okay. So the lemons were free. The water was 10 cents. Yeah. And now we need to sweeten it up. Because this is basically just like watered down lemon juice which would be really tart and sour. <laughs> so, what we have right here is sugar. Yeah, that's a really tasty ingredient. You don't wanna eat too much sugar though. But for the lemonade, we're gonna add six scoops. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there we go. Let's put that aside. Here we go. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! This lemonade is complete. All you really need to make lemonade are lemons, water, and sugar. But we have that extra ingredient from earlier, remember? Raspberries. Yeah, we're gonna make raspberry lemonade. But before we add those, let's calculate how much this lemonade has cost us thus far. Well, the lemons were free because we have a great friend. <laughs> the water was 10 cents and then the sugar was 40 cents. So right now we're at 50 cents for this whole pitcher. Whoa, all right. Now we can add our raspberries. Woo, oh, oh, that silly one fell out. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna just use these. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! Looks like they float. Whoa! Raspberry lemonade. <laughs> okay, so now our total cost, let's calculate. So earlier it was 50 cents, and these raspberries cost me 50 cents from the grocery store. So 50 cents plus 50 cents is $1. Wow, this whole pitcher cost us $1. <laughs> All right, let's put in some ice <laughs> to chill it down so then we can go and sell it. The ice was free because our friend also has a freezer full of ice. So now that we have nice cold lemonade, raspberry lemonade, we can go and sell it. I think there's about eight cups in here. And our cost is $1. So eight cups, if we sell them for $1, would be $8. And if we minus $1, that's $7. Whoa, we're gonna make $7. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We built this amazing lemonade stand. We made some tasty lemonade. Yeah, now it's time to sell some lemonade. Here we go. Lemonade, lemonade. Who wants some lemonade? Oh, 
I'd love some lemonade. Oh, okay. How are you doing today? Good, I'm a little thirsty. Ooh, really? Well, it looks like I might have something just for you. Oh, fantastic. How here. much is it? It is one dollar. One dollar? I got that right here. <laughs> Amazing! Thank you, what kind is this? This is not normal lemonade. It is raspberry lemonade, my favorite. I can't wait to try, thank you. All right, see you later. Bye. Did you see that? You and I just made our very first lemonade sale. Good job. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about business, how to make lemonade with you, and having fun along the way. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, time to sell some more lemonade. <laughs> lemonade, lemonade, who wants some lemonade? <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today we're at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle, Washington. This is gonna be so much fun, come on. Whoa. Look at this place. This place is awesome. Ooh, now we're in the butterfly room. Have you ever seen a butterfly before? Yeah, I love butterflies. They're so beautiful and light. Will you act like a butterfly with me? Whoa, look at him go. Whoa. <laughs> one right there. Hey, butterfly. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. A butterfly just landed on me. So anytime they land on you, you don't want to touch them. And they're actually just being really nice. So you can be nice back to them. See? <laughs> I love butterflies because they're so bright and, and some are camouflaged though. Look, can you find one? Whoa, look! This butterfly uses camouflage for its defense mechanism. Just in case if there's any predators, then the predators can't see it. <laughs> see? <laughs> Hi! All right, now I'm with Lorraine, and what are you gonna show us? So this here is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I can take Ooh. it out for you. And what am I gonna do with it? You can hold it if you'd like. Sure, let's try take it. Out. Oh, I'm about to hold a Madagascar hissing cockroach. All right, hold your hand out really still. Ooh. There you go. Oh, that's nice. I like this cockroach. Hey, how are you? Hey. Do you see it? See, I'm being nice to it, and it's being nice to me. Hey, how are you? What did you do today? Did you enjoy your food? Yeah. Ooh, now we get to touch some animals. But first, we need to wash our hands. So then our hands are nice and clean. Okay. That's good. Let's go, come on. Ooh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Well, over there we have some anemones. They're really friendly and kind of squishy. You're doing a really good job petting it with one or two fingers on the side. We don't really want to poke it right in the middle because that's its mouth. Oh, cool. Ooh, look at this one. So the last ones are really soft. I wonder what this is gonna feel like. Whoa, it looks like it's closing itself up a little bit. Blippi, it, it might think you're food. Ooh, that's funny. Oh, look at this one. What's this? That over there is a sea star. How does it feel? Whoa. Kind of. Bumpy, maybe? Yeah, bumpy and 
and, and kind of small spikes. The last couple were really soft, but this one is hard. Those little dots are made out of the same stuff that seashells are made out of. Ooh. So even as, though a sea star doesn't have a, its own seashell, it's kind of like it has little bits of a seashell. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I found the queen. Wow, there's so many honeybees in here. Hey, don't be scared of honeybees. All they're trying to do is make some honey. Yeah. Have you ever had honey before? <laughs> yeah, it's so tasty. <laughs> Look at what it is. This is the spot where you can do the bee dance. Are you ready to learn the bee dance? I'll teach you. Okay, in the middle here, you go and do a little wiggle. <laughs> then you go this way. Flap your wings. Yep, because we want to make some honey. In the middle, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> And then go this way, flap your wings. And then since you're back in the middle, you wiggle, 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 and go this way. And then you keep doing it until you're really tired. All right, ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, that was awesome. Good job. Oh, now we're in the living things exhibit. Oh, look. Hey, look at what it is. It's a crayfish. Do you see it right there? Oh, here's one right here. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Ooh, and up top there's some fish. Hey, fish. Are you just swimming around? Yeah, they are. Oh, oh, look over here. Some giant grasshoppers. Ooh, grasshoppers can jump really high. I bet they live in the grass a lot of times. Eh, that's why they're called grasshoppers. A lot of times they live in the grass and they hop really high. <laughs> Let's go see what else there is. Another part of the Living Things exhibit. Whoa! Yeah, do you see these? Whoa, interesting. These are naked mole rats. Wow. They're like rats, but they have no fur or, or hair or scales or anything like that. That's why they're called naked mole rats. <laughs> oh. And an axolotl, check this out. Whoa, see that? That's an axolotl. Whoa, so interesting. Kind of looks like a salamander mixed with a fish. But the cool thing about axolotls are if they lose a limb like their arm, then from there, they can regrow it back. Whoa, <laughs> check out this little person or guy or girl or I don't even know but this is a turtle wow hey how are you turtle are you having a good day are you having fun yeah <laughs> you sure do look like you're having fun <laughs> see you later Whoa. it's kind of dark in here but that's okay this is a green iguana can you see it Whoa, it's just relaxing, having a good time. <laughs> All right, see you, Iguana. Right there is a dinosaur. They don't live on our planet anymore, but they used to. Look at it. It kind of looks like a velociraptor. Will you act like a velociraptor with me? Whoa, another dinosaur.
dinosaur. Oh, this dinosaur. That's its name right there. It's really big. Hey, look at its head. <laughs> hey, see, it kind of looks like it's wearing a helmet. Just like when you and I ride bicycles, we wear helmets. <laughs> cool. Oh, here's some more dinosaurs. Whoa, look at that one. That is a Triceratops. Do you know why they call it a Triceratops? Yep, because it has three horns on its face and head. Let's count them. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, see you later, Triceratops. Hey, another dinosaur. Wow. Hey, dinosaur. Oh, this dinosaur right here was a herbivore. See, these plants, that means it eats plants. And plants only, it doesn't eat meat. And look at what's on its head. <laughs> it kind of looks like a shark fin. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa! Check this out! Whoa, this is a massive footprint! Okay, let's compare my foot to this dinosaur's foot. Ready? <laughs> its foot is way bigger than mine! It's even way bigger than two of my feet! Whoa, another dino! Check it out! This is a Stegosaurus. Whoa, do you see those plates on its back? That's for its defense mechanism. Wow. Hey, Stegosaurus. <laughs> oh. So many cool dinosaurs in here. Whoa. This dinosaur is so scary. It's the king and queen of the dino land. Whoa. I'm gonna act like this dinosaur, okay? Will you do the same? Ready? <laughs> I love acting like a dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, now we're gonna do the high rise bike. Oh, all right, come on, come here. You gotta buckle up. Whoa. I'll also tell you a few quick things before you go. Okay. Uh, just make sure you're going at like a walking pace. You're always going forwards and just keep pedaling the whole time. Okay. Uh, hands are optional. Oh, hands are optional. Here I go. Whoa. You would think I would fall off because it's a really thin rail, but I didn't because the weight is really heavy and it's really far away from me. Here I go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Interesting. This looks like a giant circle. <laughs> and this is actually called the water wheel. It's kind of just like how a hamster runs in their wheel. I'm going to do the same, but it's going to grab water from the bottom and throw it up over the top. Ready? Here I go. What's this? Ooh, this is the water power station. Water is getting shot out on the front of this little water gun. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, watch, I'll make that spin. Yeah, we're doing it. Whoa. Oh, 
Okay. Whoa, what's that way up there? Do you see that? Yeah, that's the Seattle Space Needle. I think we should take the water power gun and try and shoot way up there. Here we go. Oh, it's such a nice day. I wanted to give them a cool break of water, but it's too high up there. Let's go see what else there is around here. Whoa, that's pretty fun. Whoa, look at this area. You can use these water squirters to squirt inside this clear cube. <laughs> All right, let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. All right, I wonder if I put this right here. Yeah, see? The water is pushing this gear around. Okay, let's try this one. Whoa, look. Both of these are going in circle. The red one and the yellow one. Ooh. Come on. I love playing with water. Whee! Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Okay, look in there. Let's go. Ooh. Welcome! Come on in! Hey, look! It's a little tree house. Here I go! Hello! Whoa! It's a bunch of spirals, ups, downs, lefts, and rights. Here we go. Whee! Whoa! 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 Is this so much fun? Oh, the noise room. Come on! Whoa! This room is a room that you can make as much noise as you want. First thing I'm gonna do is yell. <laughs> now, let's use the things around us to make some noise. And if we're lucky, maybe it will sound like music. right up here. Whoa, this area has a lot of colorful bricks. Yeah, see? Right over here. All right. Timber! <laughs> Whoa, a taller one. Let's count how many there are. This is a lot of stories of bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen bricks coming down! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! Okay. Let's uh, organize these bricks in their different colors, okay? Okay, since we made a mess, we need to take the green bricks, put them over here, okay? Okay, there's the green bricks. And let's now take the 
blue bricks and put them right there. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, hey, look. Here's some brown bricks. Let's put them right here. Here's a red brick. Let's put it right there. Here's some more blue bricks. <gasps> Look at this one. What color is that? Yeah, this is brown. Let's stack it right there. Hey, look at all these. What color is this? Do you know what color this is? Yeah, it's the color yellow. Let's put these right over here. Okay, so when those 18 bricks fell down, they were comprised of these one, two, three, four, five colors. And those colors are green, brown, blue, red, and yellow. Good job. Let's see what other fun things they have at the Pacific Science Center. Let's go. You like numbers? Yeah, I do too. What about big numbers? Yeah, check this out. This is a big number. 76,383,232. Whoa, that's a big number. But when I push this red button, watch this number. It just went up by one. See, it's at three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every time you push this button, it goes up by one. So if you ever come to the Pacific Science Center, you can see what number it's at, because I am going to leave it at 76,383,323. Wait, no. 324. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey, I'm just doing this puzzle of the moon. Okay, there's one. Let's see. Okay. Hey, there's another. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Perfect. We're almost done. Look. Yeah, this is our moon. We live on planet Earth. And we have one moon, and we call it Moon. <laughs> wow, how clever of us. Hey, look at what it is. This is a planet. Just like how we live on planet Earth, this is a planet in our solar system. And this is Saturn. <gasps> Ooh. And the biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. Whoa. It is really big. <gasps> Look at that. Come here. This is a space capsule. Watch your step. See? This capsule is where astronauts can sit in and go into outer space so then they can feel the effects of gravity. And they can push all these cool knobs. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, look, I just made all those things light up. Whoa, this is fun. Whoa, it's like I can see planet Earth all the way from out here. Whoa, hey mom. <laughs> Woo. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> just kidding, it was just a mirror. Come over here, I'll show you some more fun that we can have with mirrors. Ooh, look at this! Whoa! <laughs> I call this the mirror dance. <laughs> I look silly. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, this is a bubble maker. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Nice and slow. 
And I'm gonna blow now. Yeah, I did it! Did you see that? That was awesome! I love making bubbles. Ooh, and you know what else I love? Is taking a giant lever and seeing how distance way out here makes it really easy compared to to lift up this weight compared to pull down right here. See, watch. Huh, interesting. All right, now let's move it way out here. All right, now I'll do it with one hand. Yeah, did you see it? Look, I'll lift it up. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. Oh, hey, a cool mirror. Another one. Hey, hello. This is interesting. See, I'm upside down. But in real life, I'm right side up. Hello? Hey! I see you! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. This place is so cool! Hey! What's this? This is a beach ball. What's it doing here? Flying ball! Feel the power of air in motion. Huh, interesting. Let's push this. Whoa! I wonder what happens when I plug this hole that's shooting up all the air. Whoa, did you see that? All right. Now I wonder what happens when I move it. Whoa! Oh, look, the ball's way over there. All right. You ready? I just hydrated my body with a lot of water because what I'm about to show you <laughs> takes a lot of energy. I'll show you my Lance Armstrong hill climb. Woohoo! That was awesome! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I. P-P-I, Blippi, good job. Special thanks to the Pacific Science Center for making this video happen. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at what's behind me. Whoa, a blue and yellow airplane. Yeah. Did you see how I was acting like an airplane? I sure do love airplanes. But hey, today I'm at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. And today you and I are gonna learn about airplanes. Yeah, let's go. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Blippi Airlines. Where are you heading today? Wow, that sounds like a great destination. Is it for business or pleasure? <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, let's see. You are all checked in. Do you have a bag? <laughs> okay, perfect. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's put the bag on the scale. All right, looks like you're within the limitations. So let me put this on the conveyor belt. Okay, <laughs> well, have a great flight. But wait a second, that sounds like so much fun. Do you mind if I come? <laughs> Perfect, all right, <laughs> there we go. Now I have a ticket too. Okay, let me come around. <laughs> I am so excited for our trip together. <laughs> hey, we have to go through security, all right? <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Oh, that means I must have something I shouldn't have on me. 
Oh, I know what it is. It's just my cell phone. <laughs> All right, I'll put that there. <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect, let's go. Wow, look at the airplane. Whoa, look at the fuselage, the cabin, and look at the tail up there. Whoa, this is gonna be such a fun flight. All right, let me put your bag down right here. There you go, bag. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, a fuel truck. Whoa, check it out, fuel. <laughs> All right, let's grab the hose and let's make sure that the airplane has a lot of fuel. Here we go, let's connect it. Oh, perfect, it's full. All right, here we go. Okay, now that the aircraft has a lot of fuel, now we can buckle up. Okay, first, let's put on our seatbelt. There we go. Okay, now we'll listen for instructions for the flight. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Blippi Airlines. Please mind the aisles and be sure to find the nearest emergency exit. Buckle your seatbelt and make sure it's nice and tight. And in case you need an air mask, it will come down from above. All right, now that we got the safety briefing and passengers are seated, now I think I should fly the airplane. <laughs> Check it out! Wow, so many cool gauges and instruments. Whoa! All right, here we go! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Check it out! See this airplane? It's so big! Yeah! I am way smaller than this airplane. And do you see what these are? Yeah! are called wings. Most airplanes have two wings that go from the side, but not all of them. <laughs> Some have more. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. See, the main body of the airplane is called the fuselage. Wow, this airplane is actually used to put people inside and transport them from one location to the other location, just like, say, a car or a boat or a bicycle, but way quicker. But hey, remember how I said this airplane is so big? Here, come follow me, and I have another airplane for you, and it is not very big. Remember how I said that plane is really big? Check this one out. Whoa! Yeah, this plane is small. <laughs> well, it's smaller compared to that plane, but I'm sure there's smaller airplanes than that one. But hey, what colors do you see on it? Yeah, red, white, and blue. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> oh, and what shape is that? Oh, yeah. That looks like a star. Whoa, this plane looks like it goes so fast. Whoa, whoa, check it out. This engine actually goes to an aircraft. Yeah, but there's no outside casing around it. Whoa, it is so big. Look how big it is compared to me. And do you see everything in there? There's so many hoses and tubes and Oh, geez. So the air goes in right here, gets compressed, fire, and then boom! Whoa! These tires are so big! And there's actually two tires right there. Yeah, we're at the front of the aircraft. So let's head to the back of the aircraft and see how many tires are back here. Whoa! Do you see them? Whoa! There's so many more tires back here. Wow, this plane must be really heavy. Yeah, that's probably why they have so many tires. Whoa, and look how big this wing is. If it was raining, I definitely would not get wet. <laughs> Whoa, check out this airplane. It looks like it goes really fast. Hey, what color of airplane is it? Yeah, you're right. It's blue with a little bit of yellow. <laughs> Good job. 
Whoa, look at how big that airplane is. Whoa, do you see the colors of it? Yeah, it's white, red, and gray. Let's go find some more colors. Whoa, look at this airplane. Do you see something different with it? Yeah, there's two wings over here. And there's two on the other side. Yeah, so it has two sets of wings. That's really cool. But hey, we're here to learn the color of it. <laughs> what color is this airplane? Yeah, you're right. You said green. Good job. <laughs> And look out on the wing We're gonna fly, fly, fly Till we can touch the sky We're gonna soar right through the clouds We're gonna fly, fly, fly We're going way up high On the airplane in the sky We're going to fly Gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the sky. We're gonna soar right through the clouds. We're gonna fly, fly, fly. We're going way up high on the airplane in the sky. We're going to fly. with you today at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> do you like airplanes? Yeah, I do too. They're so cool how high they fly in the sky. And how they're small airplanes and big airplanes. Wow. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and I was just dancing. Oh, but it's really hot outside. I wish I could take a break. Well, no time for breaks when you're dancing. It's a popsicle cart, and I love popsicles. I think you and I should get a popsicle. Let's go. Hey. Hi, Blippi. How are you? What's your name? I'm Julia. Ooh. Would you like a handmade popsicle? Yeah, I love popsicles. What flavor do you have? This is cha-cha-cha. It's mango, pineapple, and chia seed. Ooh, that sounds so yummy. Mango, pineapple, and chia seeds. That is so yummy! <laughs> yeah, glad you like it. Do you want to come see how they're made? Yeah! That would be so much fun. Let's right, go! Let's go! 
Welcome to my kitchen. Wow, look at this place. It's so cool. Thanks. Now, first thing, you need to gear up. Oh, <laughs> check it out. This is an apron. Here we go. Wow. Okay, well, what do we have here? So, these are all the ingredients we use to make our popsicles. Ooh, it looks like a bunch of fruit and vegetables. Yep, you got it. We actually use a lot of superfoods in our popsicles. So, wow. you'll see kale and avocado Ooh. and spinach and chia seeds. What's this? This is a coconut. Wow, that's cool. A coconut. Cool. Well, what flavor are we making? I thought we could make Popeye. Popeye? Yeah! All right. Guess why I call it Popeye? Um, I don't know. Why? I use spinach. Okay. So here you go. Hold the spinach. I was making a batch earlier, so I thought we could just add to it. Okay, so here's some spinach. And what do you have? Strawberries. Strawberries. And to sweeten it, we use dates. Ooh, dates. <laughs> All right. Come on back. Oh, okay. So here's the batch I was working on earlier. Oh, look at it. All right. Oh, that looks yummy. Go ahead, let's add it in. Okay, bye-bye, spinach. <laughs> and then here are some strawberries. Ooh. And dates. Yum. Now, what might be different about your kitchen is we have some big equipment we use here. Really? <laughs> I'm excited. Whoa, look at that. That thing is massive. What does that thing do? This is our immersion blender. Wow. So you put it in. Whoa. You hit the button. Whoa. 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 There you go. So that just blends it up into yes. a liquid? It sure does. Wow, that looks so yummy. Well, now what do we do? Now we're gonna put it in our mold. Okay. And I'm gonna get my trusty pitcher. Ooh. Wow. All right. So it's basically three ingredients all blended up to make one yummy tasting liquid. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it in. Oh. And then you kinda just have to feed it through. Shake it around. Yeah. May I? Of course. Okay. Well, here's some more. Whoa! <laughs> we got some chunky ones in there. <laughs> That's okay. There's some more. Okay. And then next what we need to do is, we'll just put in our sticks. Ooh. Yeah, like a popsicle stick. Have you ever eaten a popsicle and you hold on to the piece of wood? Yeah, that's what we just put in there. So it makes them so handy. Okay. And now we put it into our extra special popsicle machine. Whoa, what does so, this thing do? It makes it super cold. It freezes a popsicle in 18 minutes. Wow, I'm so excited. I sure do love popsicles. Hey, check it out. Let's put it in. Whoa, so is that just really cold in there? Yes, it's actually made out of a special popsicle freezing liquid. Whoa, all I right. I can't tell you all my secrets. Okay. Well, maybe for later. Well, now what do we do? Well, usually when I wait for popsicles to freeze, I like to dance. Okay, let's go, woohoo! Mmm, yum. <laughs> 
-hmm. That reminds me, I gotta go back out and sell more popsicles. <gasps> okay, well. Do you think you could watch the kitchen for me? Feel free to make your own flavor. <gasps> make our own flavor? That sounds like fun. See you, Blippi. Thanks for showing us around. No problem. Did you hear that? You and I get to make our very own Blippi flavor. <laughs> Let's do this. Woohoo! Did you hear that? All right, you and I gonna make our very own flavor, and I am so excited. All right, let's see what we have to work with. All right, you know what kind of fruit this is, right? Yeah, this is an apple. Okay, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, what are these? Check these out. Yeah, these are lemons. Lemons are the color yellow. Wow, and then we have some greens over here. Whoa, spinach. Wow, whoa, hello. <laughs> it's like hair. Whoa, whoa, this is kale, and kale is really yummy. <laughs> and it doesn't like containers. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, let's put these back in here so then we can continue to see what type of fruits and vegetables we have. Like this, whoa. This is so heavy. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Yeah. This is a watermelon. And watermelons are so big and yummy. Do you know what color is on the inside of the watermelon? Yeah. Red. And the outside is green. Okay, just a couple more. Bananas. And? Pineapple, yum! Okay, so you can see we have this big bucket right here and we need to put a lot of the ingredients right in here. Can't forget about the strawberries. We'll start with those. Here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, that kale. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's put some in there. So good. Oh, apples. Okay, we could put the whole apple in there, but I think we should probably slice it. Have you ever had a slice of an apple? They're so yummy. Okay, here is our red apple slicer. And then put it right in the center, just like that. And then you push down. Whoa, look at that. That is awesome. Slice the apples, so then you pull them out, and then you can put them right in our big bucket. Wow. And you keep the core, whoop! <laughs> you keep the core, which is the center, out of it, because there's a lot of seeds in there. Oh, speaking of seeds, watermelons have seeds. <laughs> okay. Let's cut open the watermelon. Whoa. I'm gonna be very careful because I'm a grown up with this knife. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Chop it in half, just like that. Flip it around. Wow. Look at that. That looks so yummy. Our popsicles are gonna be so yummy. Okay. Um, I have an idea. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> All right, we have some bananas. Open those up. Here we go. Bye-bye, banana. Woohoo! <laughs> and we'll do another banana. Yum! Here we go! <laughs> Yum! Look at it. Is that looking tasty or does that look tasty? Whoa! And remember, we learned what fruit this is. Yeah, the coconut. All right, these are a little tricky to open, but it's worth the trouble. So let's take the coconut opener. I just want to drink it all up. Oh, oh. 
Okay, we'll put that in the bucket for the popsicles. Whoa! Oh, yum! Okay, use this little coconut device and pull out some of the coconut meat. Yeah, right in there. Ooh, yummy! There we go. All right, perfect. Let's bring it right over here. Yum! All right. Oh, spinach right here. Woohoo! And then we have a bunch of grapes. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven grapes. All right. And then remember these? We used these earlier. These are dates. Here we go! Whoa! Okay, can't forget about the lemons. We have so many types of fruits and vegetables in here. Here we go. Wow. Okay, let's take these and give a little squeeze. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, have you ever tasted a lemon before? Okay, let's try some. Sour. Okay, let's wash our hands. And then last but not least, we have a pineapple. We cut the pineapple just like that. And you see that yellow? That looks so yummy. So now we take this pineapple tool, put it right on top, and then you give it a little twist. Wow. Look at that. And then you pull it out. Whoa, check that out. And then take it off just like this. And that's gonna give it some nice sweetness to these yummy popsicles. All right. I think that's plenty. Look at, whoa, that's so heavy. Come on back here. Remember that next step that we do? Yeah, she taught us that you put the bucket, whoa, right here. You take the big blender, whoa, whoa. And we blend it up. Here we go. All right, now it's all mixed up. Wait a second though, we need the magic tool. This is a giant whisk. Woohoo! Check this out. All righty, it's adding some color. <laughs> okay. Let's put this right over here, and then we can bring this up and grab this pitcher. Remember from earlier, we need to scoop some out. Oh, oh I am so excited. Pour some in. Let's grab another scoop. Okay, here we go. Okay, whoa! All right, I think that's plenty. So let's give it a shake. Okay, yes, these are gonna be so yummy. And let's take these sticks. Wow, that's a lot of popsicle sticks. <laughs> Put them right in there. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we need to bring it to the cooling station. <gasps> Here we go, set it down. All right, now, remember what we had to do earlier? It's gonna take a long time. So, we get a dance while we wait. Denise Carradine? Oh, you sure did, the popsicles must
must be ready. Let's check them out. Woohoo! All right. Whoa, I am so excited. Hey, we gotta drain them. I can't wait to see the ingredients you use. <laughs> Me too. Whoa. The nice and come. loose. <gasps> Whoa! Look at them! Whoa! My two favorite colors! Yeah! Check them out! Blue and orange! Shall we try them? Yeah! Do you like them? These are delicious, Flippy. You know what? You need to take those outside and go sell some pops. Mm, awesome. All right, let's go try some. Sell some popsicles. <laughs> popsicles, popsicles. Who wants a popsicle? <laughs> I love popsicles. And that was so much fun learning about how to make popsicles with you at Mom and Pop Shop in Costa Mesa, California. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi! Good job! Well, see you later! Whoa! Look at this fire truck toy! It has a gigantic ladder! There's a real fire truck behind me. Let's put this fire truck toy away and check out some of the gadgets on the real fire truck. Can you hear me? This is Fireman Blippi. <laughs> hey, we're inside a real fire truck. I got my seatbelt on to keep me safe. I even got my headset so I can communicate with all the other workers. Oh, look over this way. That's where the driver sits and steers the fire truck with the steering wheel. Oh, check the back out with me. Yeah, look at all those seats. That's where the rest of the fire workers sit. And there's anywhere from three to six firemen in the fire truck going to the fire. <laughs> Let's check out some more of the fire truck. the base of the ladder on the fire truck and look way up there. Yeah, there's a real fireman. Let's get him to wave to us. Oh, he's so high up there. He's about 105 feet up in the air. Wow! Now it's about time for me to show you some of the tools and gadgets on a fire truck. Let's go. Whoa. Look, this right here, yeah, this is a hydrant wrench. You use this to open up the fire hydrant. And then uh, this is the stores wrench. Whoa, you use the stores wrench on the inlets of the fire truck. So then you can connect the hose to the fire truck and provide the fire truck with water. But in order to do that, you need hoses. Look up here. Whoa. That's a lot of hose. Okay. Now, let me show you some more cool gadgets of the fire truck. Whoa, watch this. Whoa! 
Okay, we got a pickaxe, we got just a normal pick, and then, yep, you can't forget the snippers. <laughs> Ooh, watch this trick. Look at all these cool tools on the fire truck. <laughs> There's tools inside secret compartments that are inside secret compartments. <laughs> Wait, hey, come back here. I forgot to show you something. Look at inside this little compartment. Whoa, it's a giant air tank. The firefighters use this to breathe air because you can't breathe in fire and smoke. But in order to use this, you need to wear a harness. Let's go try on a harness now. <laughs> We just got a fire call. Let's go put on our air pack. All right, this is our air pack. This is compressed air in this big bottle. And then this down here, this is my mask. So let me put it on. Tighten that up, and then you just buckle this in, kind of like a seat belt. Okay, and now you gotta turn on the air. Okay, and then let's put on the mask. Okay, now I'm breathing air from the air condenser pack back there. Now it's time to go fight some fires. See ya. <laughs> wow! Oh, you can't forget about the buttons. <laughs> this fire truck toy is so much fun. Thank you for learning about fire trucks with me. Blippi, B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job, now you know how to say and spell my name. If you wanna see more of my fun educational videos, be sure to click this big red button that says subscribe so you can see all of them. Or if you wanna see me play with this fire truck toy more, be sure to click that. So then, you can see my brand new channel where I play with toys. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be fun. Parents, if your child loves my videos, be sure to head over to blippy.com because as you know now, they can watch my videos for free on YouTube, but introducing, they can download them 
on their tablet, phone, or your tablet, or your phone, <laughs> and not use your data or your Wi-Fi, just in case if you're going on a long trip. <laughs> Who knows? All right, well, see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're at Party Jungle in Phoenix, Arizona. And we are going to have so much fun today. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check it out. Oh, hello. Hi, Flippy. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Ooh, I am really excited. Ooh, check there this you go. out. Have fun. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Wristband and some tokens. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, we'll put these in my pocket for later. Ooh, let's ride a ride. Whoa, look at this. What kind of animal is this? <laughs> yeah, it's an elephant. Will you act like an elephant with me? <laughs> are so big! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, let's ride. Okay, here we go! Ride. And so much fun acting like an elephant. Yeah. Let's go ride some more rides. Ooh. Check this ride out. Thank you. Whoa. Hey, these look like swings. Do you know of an animal that loves to swing from trees? <laughs> yeah, monkeys love to swing on trees. Let's act like monkeys. <laughs> okay, all right, let's hop in. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's take a seat. Oh. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's get buckled up. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, I am having so much fun. Ooh, I'm kind of getting hungry. Oh no, look, I'm stuck. Hey, let's act like monkeys to get out of this. <laughs> yeah, good job. Okay, see you soon. Whoa, I'm getting kind of hungry. Oh, are you hungry? Let's go. Get some snacks. Oh, Come on. Ooh, can I please have some animal crackers? Of course. Ooh, animal crackers. There you go. Yum, thank you. Okay, let's find a place to sit. Hmm. How about right here? <laughs> let's open them up. Ooh, so many animals. Let's set this right over here. Wait a second, what's this? It's a dog. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't we eat our snacks like how a dog eats? Do you know how a dog eats? Yep, with no hands. <laughs> Silly. Okay, let's see what else they have around here. Whoa, this place is so cool and colorful. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, check it out. Miniature golf. Whoa. Hey, here we go. Two 
two size clubs. Do we want this one or this one? Let's do this one. Looks just right for my size. So we have a blue club and an orange ball. My two favorite colors. Okay, here we go. All right, get ready. Oh, wait, wait a second. Do you see this? What animal is this? This is a zebra. Whoa. Black, white, black, white. Hey, did you know zebras are actually all black with white stripes? Interesting. Oh, can't forget these. Oh, whoa. A hippopotamus. Whoa, that's silly. Let's act like a hippo. <laughs> Hippos are really big. They love the water. And they love the land, too. Pretty interesting. Ooh, all right. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, I almost made it. Whoa! Look! Oh, this is a horse. Horsey, how are you? I love horses. They're so nice most of the time, and they love to gallop. Hey, let's gallop this horse. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's put this horse right here, because we have another ride to go into. Oh, thanks. Welcome. Come on. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> That's silly. Hello. Hi, oh, come over here. Hello. How are you two? Good. Oh, very good. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Hello. How are Hi. you? Good. High five. Woohoo. Okay. My turn. Okay. <sighs> let's sit in here. And then, put the chain on right here. Now, we are ready to go. <laughs> ah! Choo choo, here comes a train. Choo choo, ah! here comes a train. It's rolling on the tracks, gonna get there fast, yeah. Choo choo, here comes a train. I can spend Hello. watching you. If I was riding on the caboose That's the back of the train I'd try to count all the train cars But they'll That was so much fun! Whoa! We love Party Jungle! Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was awesome! Choo choo! <laughs> oh, let's see what else there is around here. Whoa, <laughs> a jungle gym. Whoa, look. Whoa, a cute little animal. Hello. <laughs> this is a sloth. Did you know that sloths move really slow? Here, come on. Let's act like a sloth together. Okay, how you act like a sloth is you just move really slow. Ready? Three, two, one. Have you ever seen a sloth swim? You should look it up. It's hilarious. Sloths move really slow on land, but when they swim, they swim really fast, like three times faster than they move on land. Whoa! Oh, hey, this area, you have to take off your shoes. So, let's take off my shoes. There we go. One, two, whee! Come on. Whoa! 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 <laughs>
This place is awesome! Whoa! Look at this place! Whoa! Whoa! Wait! Whoa! Whoa! What is this? Whoa! What animal is this? It's cute! It's black and white! It's a penguin! Whee! Let's act like penguins together! Okay, all you have to do is waddle! Whoa! Waddle, waddle, waddle! Waddle, waddle, waddle! <laughs> okay, okay, let's put my shoes back on and let's play some arcade games. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, okay, let's check this out. Whoa, look at this game. Ooh, all right, let's put in a coin. Let's take the hammer. Get ready. Oh. <laughs> Wee, this is awesome! <laughs> See, you have to hit them when they come out! <laughs> Whoa! It's getting trickier! Two of them are coming out at a time! Whoa! 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 I'm getting tired! Okay, what other games do we have? Oh, I know of a game. Here, come right over here. Dance Dance Revolution! Woo! I'm really good at this one. Get ready. Pretty cool because you get a spin around. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm ready. Horsey. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Here we go. Whoa! 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 fast I was spinning? Whoa! That was awesome! Oh, I had so much fun hanging out at Party Jungle with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job! Well, fun hanging out with animals with you. Bye-bye!